Guys, uh, we're at Amsterdam Hook, a drinking village with a fishing problem. <laughs> Go. the lounge. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> All right. So just a quick one, uh, guys. This is Jenny. Uh, just one of the residents right here in Amsterdam Hook, that beautiful fishing village, somewhere in Europe, but just here in PE. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> So Jane is just going to give us a quick brief history about uh, this place at the house because she owns a house, a beautiful house on, on Amsterdam Hook. <laughs> don't know about a beautiful house, I think oh, it's, it <laughs> it's still a fishing shack. <laughs> <laughs> but this was the original house in the top picture. Yes. I'm not sure, it, if you actually expand these pictures, there's vehicles in the picture and the pictures look as though they might be from the 1930s, 1940s, very old, but I, I believe the original house was built in 1926 as a fishing shack. Okay. If you look above, there's no houses. Yes, yes, there's so Blue Water Bay was the cottage here. Yes, was washed away? Was washed away in the floods in 1968. Oh. The whole house, it was in the plot next door. We can have a look at that Okay. in a sec. That one was washed away. 
and then they couldn't get planning permission to build mm -hmm. again at the bottom. The family eventually built a house at the top of the hill, but I'll show you all that okay. when we go around here. This cottage is still there. Wow. But so that cottage is like a hundred years, almost a hundred years. Yep. We're almost a hundred years old. So that's a, just a, that's our house. Yes. And this is the one that washed away. Okay. The boat house is still there. They, they were allowed to rebuild that boat house. Okay. But the house was built up top. That's quite a horror story there. That's a, a dolphin that washed up. I don't know why they've got it tied up. was under mud for about eight weeks. Okay. Afterwards, it all came in the back. Because these houses are, are um, it's the house that Jack built. Nothing's oh. normal. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> and in actual fact, our floors still slope. Okay. Because when the mud came through, mm -hmm. the wind it shifted the floors, and okay. there is a slope on the floor, but it doesn't worry us. Okay. See this beam? Yes. That came off the wreck of the Amsterdam hook. Ah. Wow. wow. Um, it's a shipwreck. I think it happened in the early 1900s. Oh my word. The wreck is part of the wreck is still there. Where? When you go down, you can't see it all the time. When you get onto the beach and go down towards Wells Estate, yes. just before the pier, yes. depends on the tides, it depends on the sand, sand. Okay. but part of the wreck is still there. If, when the sand gets washed away, mm -hmm. you'll see the wreck All right. standing out. It's amazing, but that came from that <laughs> shipwreck. And then the original house stopped here, Okay. and this was the porch. Oh, all right. A little stoop. A little stoop, yeah. And then when the people decided to live here permanently, mm -hmm. the original owners, then they enclosed the That's stoop part. to rent the room. It's all add-ons and okay. <laughs> higgledy piggledy. All right. So Jenny, um, how often do you guys um, experience floods here maybe? The last true flood we had was 2006. Okay. Um, it rained solidly for three days. All right. It was quite incredible. Um, the road was completely blocked. Yes. I mean, the water was right across the road. We were, we were fortunate because our house is high, high up. Yes. But the other houses that are lower, lower down, certainly our garages downstairs, yeah. were flooded. We had to get all the cars out. Um, the NSRI were down giving us warnings that we should evacuate. Yeah. It was so bad. And. We were stuck here for three days. The road was completely blocked. Nobody oh. could get in or out in a vehicle. And electricity and food, how did you guys No, that was out? fine. Is it? Yeah, no, I mean, it was only three days. Okay. <laughs> but it was just we couldn't get vehicles in and out the, yeah. com the road because of all the debris that had come down. Yes. There was trees and logs and there was carcasses of animals okay. that had been washed down. Yes. It, it was quite horrendous and then we had the nature conservation department running around with bins because it happened in the August and the snakes and the reptiles yes. were still in hibernation but they got washed out oh my goodness. so we had all these lazy snakes in the street <laughs> <laughs> cobras no less and bomb <laughs> so That's they brought scary. buckets for us they big drums and yes. we filled them up Jenny um, I've, I've just did a bit of digging on history about this beautiful neighborhood uh, from way back before it even existed I think before even that road or that bridge oh, yeah. was 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 cre created when I think the only crossing point was that bridge it was from Swartcox was from um, Swartcox there this bridge was painted a couple of years ago yeah. it's brightly colored now yes yes it, it's called its original name was the wheeled bridge yeah. We now call it the Smarty Bridge <laughs> <laughs> because of the, you know each color represents the area okay so when I was doing that digging of history day, um, apparently I hear at one time they wanted to put that old hammer here yeah. in that history, just on that part where I, if, on that article oh, that, that I was showing you, yeah, initially they wanted to put a harbour there, somewhere across here. I don't know whether it was going to be that, right at the mouth or maybe. I on, I don't know about that. Is it? As far as I knew it was always Kucha. Is it? No, that was like way back. We're talking of the 1800s. Oh, I wasn't around then. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, do you perhaps know a bit of the history? No, I don't know about that. Okay. Um, as I say, originally it was just fishing cottages. Okay. 
And then gradually as times changed, people decided, mm -hmm. you know, to live permanently. So they made more permanent structures or more formal housing. Yes. But I mean, our house was a wooden iron shack, same as this one next door. Yeah. That's still original. Oh yes, good eye, good eye. Yeah. Okay, so the original house is way, like way like that. Our, our, house, like that. Yes. our house still looks like that underneath. Is it? But when we bought the house, yep. it had been plastered. Okay. They put chicken wire up against the... Oh, I see those houses you mentioned. The houses that went there when this house... Closed. None of those houses were there. But they, eventually they, they put chicken wire yeah. Yeah. against the, the corrugated iron. Yes. And then they threw concrete on it. Okay. So when we bought it, it looked like a plastered house. All right. And then we did the cladding just to make, make it, it look a bit sparter. Well, it's home. It's it's the most wonderful place to live. It I is. promise you. It's you know it's a village. That is the one thing about going to the UK, the the historical yes. buildings that have been ma maintained. There's, there's a, lot, a lot of them are, are ruins, yes. but they're preserved ruins and then they're maintained yes. and you can go there and get fabulous history lessons it's incredible and i'm so pleased you're doing this we'll have a history of <laughs> amsterdam hook yes i have to because you see i feel pe has got an amazing history yes and um, there's a lot that people out there need to be taught need to be told and maybe perhaps need to be told in an interesting way yeah. with pictures and videos like yeah. we're doing right now and maybe perhaps they can just get to know a little bit more about yeah. the place I'm very fond of history. I love, his I love historical history. books. I love I historical love programs. But I think it's so valuable for the younger generations. 100%. That's you why know, I'm with them. <laughs> they need to know where they come from. They need to know where, where their families 100%. started. I mean, that, that's very important to me. Is that a rhinoceros? <laughs> Isn't that clever? <laughs> <laughs> that's my husband's project. <laughs> ah, interesting. But um, the word is out there. It's well marketed. It's just the way... Be aware of rogue, rogue poaching. Rogue rhinos. Yeah, well, that's... Mm. It's... And, and the people that live on the river, we are very... Jane, I see you've yes. got a flag, Ukraine for me. Ukraine flag. Yes. yes. Um, you're with the people, or...? Absolutely. 100%. Yes. Okay. Um, I do have friends in Ukraine. Yeah. And when the war broke out, I couldn't buy a Ukrainian flag. Yeah. So I made it. My word. <laughs> if you hadn't told me, I would have thought it was a port. Because it looks perfect for me. You, you've seen it at a distance. Yeah. But I made the flag um, just to show support for Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you. That must have been part of the hull or something. Oh, but that one there. The one at the, the one with, there. Yeah. It's still got the original steel pegs in it. Yes, I see it, yeah. This one as well. Okay. And the one at the front. These are all, all came from that shipwreck. And that, uh, so, uh, is it a rock? What do you call it? That one around, around the. The one under the. Can you see the rock right on the edges? The rope, yes. yes. But that we found out on the, we salvaged that on the beach. Is it? It's obviously um, came off a large ship. Okay. We often we do beach cleanups yes. every now and again, and it's yep. amazing the things that you find. Yeah. We often get rope. Oh, this rope. Yes, yes, yes. Came from the beach. As well. So yep. obviously it came off a ship as well. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Interesting, interesting. Jen, it's, thank you so much for this little mini in it's interview. It's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> You've added a lot of value to this documentary. I hope a lot of people are going to learn. Guys, this is Jen, one of the <laughs> key resident people on Amsterdam Hook. Uh, or is Amsterdam Hook a part of Blue Water Bay or it's just Amsterdam Hook on its own? We like to think it's on its own. <laughs> I, 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 I think exactly the same. When we, when we write our address, yes. right, Amsterdam Hook Drive, Amsterdam Hook. Yes. Never blew water bay. Never blew water bay. No, no that's exactly this what I think This was here as well. long before that was before thought of. That. I think the house is up the top. They only started to build them around the early 70s. Okay. So we were nearly 50 years ahead of them. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So Jen, thank you so much. It's, it's been, been a pleasure. pleasure. Uh, well, what a lovely surprise. You're on holiday. Literally on holiday. When we were looking to, we used to stay in South End. Yeah, okay. And we were looking for a holiday house. Yes. And we started looking down Crom River Way, whatever. Yeah. And then we saw this advertised. We thought, well, why do we need two? Yeah. And we could have it all in one. It's only 13 k's to town. Yes. So, you are in town. Yeah. But the feeling that it gives you, though, is a feeling of 
Because it's not another street like it. Mm. Never. Never. It's not illegal. And the people down here we are so together. Yeah. 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 That's what I just picked up with. It's a real community. Yes. You know, we all look after each other. 100%. No, I actually had some guys also coming to me and saying... It was an incredible flood. Mm. Let's go down to the bridge.